My parents ghosted me five years ago and now want to meet their grandchildren. I love my husband with all my heart and he used to be my boss. About nine years ago, I started working as his assistant. We spent about two and a half years ignoring our mutual attraction for each other until we gave in. We then went to HR, who reassigned me, and the whole thing was strictly above board from the time we began dating. I got pregnant about a year later, and my husband and I decided to just get married. While we'd only really been dating for about a year and a half, we knew each other completely, loved each other, lived together, and there was a baby on the way. We knew how it would look, but I had to leave the company anyway due to problems with my new boss, so we didn't anticipate this causing any issues, except with my parents. They were both in their 60s and have always been overprotective. I knew they wouldn't like me dating my boss, and I hadn't told them yet, but I had to tell them if I wanted them at my wedding. We decided to be mostly honest with them, about how it was strictly professional until it wasn't, how the second it got unprofessional we went to HR, how he had never taken advantage of me, but now we wanted to get married, and we wanted them there. We did not mention the baby because I felt that giving them that information, in addition to the rest all at once, would have been too much to handle. I was only about four months along when the wedding happened, so the bump was easily hidden. The wedding itself went off without a problem. My mother pulled me into the bathroom shortly before the ceremony to ask if I was sure about this, to which I said I was. I thought my parents were taking it well. The ceremony and reception were at two different venues, and we had to travel from one to the other, and my parents never arrived at the reception. I called them and got ignored. Then my brother called them and they told him that they were going home. I don't remember the exact reason they gave, but it amounted to them being tired and uncomfortable. I tried contacting them after the wedding but found that I was blocked on everything except email, which I used to send them a long letter essentially saying that I'm an adult who made an adult choice and I hope they can respect that. Five years later, I have not heard from my parents since my wedding. My husband and I are not big on social media in general, but I recently posted something for our fifth anniversary in which I mentioned our two kids and a third on the way. Within a month of making this post, my parents left a voicemail saying they saw the post and having had no idea that they had grandchildren previously, now want to meet them. I haven't responded, and there have been a few follow-ups from them since then asking why I haven't. I don't know what to do, but my gut instinct is that five years is too long, and it's about the kids, not about them respecting my choices or relationship. However, I can't help but feel that I'm being unfair, and my brother agrees because I told them in my email that if they could learn to respect my choice and my marriage eventually, then we could talk, and now I'm retroactively applying a time limit. I asked if we could talk yesterday, and we were on Zoom within an hour. It was my parents, my husband, and me. They asked to see the kids, and I replied that they could see them eventually, depending on whether they could earn our trust. For context before I get into the next part, my husband is not white. My parents are though, as am I. I didn't think this was going to be about a race thing or that my parents could be racist, and neither did my husband. We couldn't understand why they would want to meet our mixed race children if they were racist. They asked to begin by reading me a letter they claimed to have written on my wedding day. The letter stated that they felt uncomfortable about me marrying my former boss, as they believed he had taken advantage of me. Because of this discomfort, they mentioned they left between the wedding and the reception to avoid causing a scene. However, they wanted me to know they were there for me despite their reservations about him. They also added that they had initially planned to send this letter to me the morning after my wedding, but when they received my email about needing to respect my choices, they felt so ashamed that they couldn't bring themselves to send theirs. Seeing my anniversary post made them realize how much they've missed in the past five years, and they expressed their desire not to miss any more. I had some questions, like why they were so against me marrying my former boss. They simply replied that it wasn't what they had in mind for my wedding day and my future spouse. I asked why they attended the wedding at all if they didn't support the marriage. My dad responded that he wanted to walk his daughter down the aisle as it was the only chance he'd get. The way he phrased it implied that they had intentionally attended the wedding solely for that purpose and always planned to leave halfway through. Because he said my daughter and didn't address me directly, it was clear he was thinking about my older sister, who had passed away. My husband also noticed this, and he pointed out that if they were talking about me, they should address me directly. He also added that if they had planned to leave, they should have informed us earlier, as we wouldn't have invited them otherwise. He expressed frustration about their silence for five years and their sudden interest, emphasizing that as a father, he couldn't understand how they could ignore their daughter for so long or only get in touch when we had kids. My dad lost his temper. I won't say exactly what it was, but he yelled out a racial slur to insult my husband. My mother immediately tried to do damage control, but I ended the call. They have since messaged me multiple times, attempting to explain that my father's use of a racial slur wasn't indicative of a racist attitude. They also argued that he wouldn't have said that in front of the kids, so they should still get to meet them. After five years of wondering why they were so offended by my marriage to my former boss that it led to no contact for half a decade, I've realized that they're simply racist. It's almost a relief to find out. If it were just about my marriage to my former boss, I might have had sympathy for them, and we could have considered reconciliation. However, with this revelation, it's now a matter of whether I'm willing to expose my mixed-race children to a couple of racists, which is something I obviously cannot do.